mighty Mac. It was summertime on the island of Sodor. Lots of holidaymakers were coming to the island. They liked to see the beautiful forests and the high mountains. It was a busy time for all the engines. A new engine had arrived on the island. He was going to help take the holidaymakers up into the mountains. Thomas had arrived at the transfer yards. He was very excited to meet the new engine. Hello, puffed Thomas. Hello, the new engine puffed back. I'm mighty. And I'm Mac. And together we're Mighty Mac, they whistled happily. Thomas had never seen such an unusual engine before. Then the thing controller, Mr Percival, arrived. Mighty Mac, you are to take some holidaymakers to the mountain campsite, said Mr Percival. Mighty Mac could see the holidaymakers. They were waiting on the platform. But there were lots of tracks between Mighty Mac and the holidaymakers. Mighty Mac didn't know how to get to the platform. We've always worked in the shunting yard, moaned Mighty to Thomas. How will we find our way over to the passengers, groaned Mac. It's simple, whistled Thomas. Look at where you want to go, then follow the track that will take you there. Mighty set off nervously. But as they puffed along the track, Mac thought his way was quicker. This way, he said. No, Mac, Puff Mighty, it's this way. Soon they were puffing left and right, backwards and forwards. They were very confused. They even had a ride on the turntable. Then at last, we're here, Puff Mac. Then why are the holidaymakers over there, asked Mighty. Because you didn't look where you wanted to go and you didn't follow the right track, said Mr Percival sternly. Now you're late. Sorry, said Mac. Sorry, said Mighty. They felt very silly. Finally, the passengers were on board. Mighty Mac puffed through the countryside on the way to the campsite. We have to get there before dark, chuffed Mighty. So we'll have to work extra hard. Then in the mountains, there was a fork in the track. Mighty wanted to go left. This way, he puffed. No, go the other way, shouted Mac. But Mighty was already pulling them past the fork. Mac was cross. The next time they came to a fork in the track, Mac wanted to go the other way again. This way, he puffed, and he pulled Mighty back to the junction, and then pushed him back up the other line. Now Mighty was cross. They puffed through the mountains, and whenever they came across a junction, Mighty would push one way, then Mac would pull the other. The holidaymakers were having a very bumpy ride. They spilled their tea and their buns went flying. But mighty Mac pressed on. Then there was trouble. They had arrived at a dead end. The holidaymakers had a look around. This isn't the campsite, said one of the holidaymakers. It's not even a nice place for our picnic, said another. This is your fault, Puff Mighty. And he pushed back towards Mac. Yours, huffed Mac, and he pushed back even harder. The holidaymakers watched as Mighty Mac bumped backwards and forwards. Stop, called the holidaymakers. You're going to cause an accident. But it was too late. Mighty pushed Mac as hard as he could, and the carriage crashed into the rocks. First one rock fell, then another rock. Soon, lots of rocks came tumbling down. 
The track was blocked, and they were all stuck. We'll never get to the campsite now, moaned the holidaymakers. And it was all Mighty Mac's fault. They felt terrible. It was getting late. The holidaymakers were working hard. They were trying to get the coach back onto the rails. Then, with a mighty heave, the holidaymakers lifted the carriage back onto the track. Mighty Mac was watching the holidaymakers. When the holidaymakers work together, hooted Mighty, they lifted the heavy carriage onto the track, tooted Mac. Then they had an idea. If we both work together, Puff Mighty, we'll be strong enough to push those rocks out of the way, Huff Mac. So Mighty Mac rolled up to the rocks and pushed and pushed. The rocks rumbled. Then they rocked until finally the track was clear. The holiday makers cheered. Mighty Mac was ready to go. They could see the flag flying high above the campsite. Then they remembered what Thomas had said. Look where you want to go, Puff Mac. Then follow the track that will take you there, Chuff Mighty. Off we go, they whistled together. Mighty Mac puffed up the mountains. And soon they arrived at the campsite. The holiday makers were very happy, and Mighty Mac was very proud. You know, Mac, wish Mighty, when we pull together and work together, we can be a very useful engine, whistled Mac. And they set off happily back down the mountain. I'm gonna be